Okay, so today, you guys, as you guys can tell by the title, we got some cheese. Mom, Hella cheese. Yeah. Night. Cheese bites. Hola, amigas. Es Camistan, mi jovete, el foca. Es mi jovete, el foca. Es mi jovete, el foca. Okay, tu jovete, el foca. Okay. Tiene que repetir eso. And we know we've been absent, you guys. Last week we were just so busy. Uh, we can't share it with you guys yet, but pretty soon we will be able to share you guys with you guys exactly what has been going on. Um, so Wait, that, what's been going on? Last week I didn't post anything on YouTube. Why? Oh, that's right. But you guys won't know about this because she's going to delete it. <laughs> so that's why we were gone for like a little bit, but we're back. We're back. We're back. Better than ever. Yes. As you guys can tell by our title, somebody tried breaking into or stealing my Range Rover. And before you guys say, oh no, you guys are lying. We're not lying. We got the proof, real evidence, real proof, and we're gonna show it to you guys. Basically what happened was we had a little party. It's before anybody gets it twisted. It wasn't any of our friends, like it happened after the party or during honestly but it wasn't definitely wasn't our friends we just don't know what happened and reluctantly we do not have any cameras to outside to see what happened or exactly how or who uh, yeah we do have the evidence that somebody tried breaking into our car which is freaking annoying because i've already put a thousand million dollars that's not even a real thing wait actually a thousand million dollars isn't that a villain yeah, no? Yes. I, I don't know. I yes, don't, don't yes know it is. Yes, <laughs> yes it is actually. Yeah, I've already put tons and tons of money into that car and it's kind of uh, heartbreaking to go out and see something that you take care of so much be damaged the way it was. And it, it kind of sucks. Because they couldn't even take it. Like, we're, I, I don't even understand if they were just trying to... You can't just hotwire a Range Rover. Like, I don't understand what the situation was. It's kind of fucked up, but... Honestly, I have bad luck with cars. I swear I do. I don't know what it is with me and cars, but this wasn't my fault, so don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. A week after I bought her the Range Rover, she crashed it on the side of the house. Okay. Parking. No. <laughs> yes. Fucked up the house and fucked up the car. Okay, but it wasn't like that, though. And then the rims. Like four times. Like four times. In a row. And the guy have... asked, the guy literally asked me. So we have this guy that like repairs our rims because it's not just. It's a buddy of mine. Yeah, it's not just, it's not just me though because you messed it up one time. I messed it up twice and you messed it up once. You messed it up like three times. And not just that car, all well, the cars. I was going to say, but he fixes our cars all the time because um, I always like, not anymore. Curb them. I always curb them. He asked me if I just wanted him to start coming once a week to my house. <laughs> Which wouldn't have been a bad idea at the time. Hey, but it hasn't happened since then. Well, because of COVID, we haven't gone anywhere. We don't do anything. True, that's true, that's true. Me accidentally hitting the house, that was an accident. I didn't even realize I hit it until I hit it, like after. Uh, so until the car <laughs> has a hydraulic system that lowers the car and makes it go up and then it go makes it go up even higher. Well, after crashing the car into the house, she decided it would be a good idea to lower the hydraulic system, which only made things worse because now not only was there an impact, but she lowered dragged it, it down. dragged it against the house all the way down and scratched the shit out of it even more. And it was, I mean, it wasn't hilarious. It's hilarious now, but it wasn't hilarious then. No, I'm still not laughing. I had called him to come outside to help me with Jasmine because it was when Jasmine was in the car seat. As he is like opening the door, like coming outside to help me, I hit the house and I start like, like he said, I put it down and then I start backing it up and he's like, oh my God. And I can just see his face and I'm like, what happened? I didn't okay, even know. that's funny. I didn't even know what happened and then I realized I hit the car when it started going and I was like oh. I wish we had a picture of that I do okay please um, insert right here I like freak out and I was like can you help me and that's when he said what do you want me to do and I was like I don't know lift up the car <laughs> with what your muscle <laughs> that car is like a few times like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I had Hercules over here. But anyways, okay, so 
I have bad luck with cards. That's what I'm trying to get at. But this one really wasn't my fault. And it's really upsetting because I have tried so hard ever since the last time I curved the card. I swear it hasn't happened. I know because of COVID, but also I've been very careful because even when we didn't go out with COVID, the last time I rimmed it was going taking yeah, the, uh, it. <laughs> the last time I curved it. <laughs> last time I curved it was when I was taking a right. Remember? Yeah. That was the last time. The last time. time you rimmed it was last night. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we think happened. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell them, baby? No, go ahead. I think you're a better storyteller. I want to hear your version of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're so annoying. This is what I think happened. The car was left unlocked by accident, you guys. Somebody tried going in the car and started messing with our starter button maybe they thought the keys might be close enough for it to start to so. turn on on its own yeah maybe as long as the keys are inside the car it turns on mm -hmm. and as long as the keys are near the car it unlocks i think somebody was trying to hot wire wire the car because the starter button was broken there was a big hole in the middle i'm gonna insert the picture so you guys can see um, but that's not what I noticed first. What I noticed first was, like I told you guys, we had a party. And then the next morning, as I was taking out some of the... You took out the trash. Yeah. But you didn't notice it. No. I And then I took, I think, either the dogs or the bottles out. I took something out. Yeah, something. And I saw this, like, reflection, which I'm going to insert a picture of my car. The, the... What is it called? The hood? The hood. Had some big like golpe somebody hit it really really hard or something and i was like uh oh and then it looked like somebody tried to like wiping it Rubbing off it off yeah. yeah so i came inside and i told him i was like hey like somebody hit our car can you come take a look at it so he did and yeah sure enough somebody hit it it was like the size of my hand like it was pretty big bigger i think was it bigger? I'm gonna insert the picture. The picture is a, a close up. I see it and I freak out because that is annoying. And I think maybe what happened was is they couldn't get the car to go and run. So maybe they got frustrated and yeah, they probably just hit it and they're like, screw this and then just left. Yeah, so that- But what sucks is we didn't hear anything or like I said, we don't- We see anything. We don't have cameras outside our home, but we are, yeah. we are going to get some. So if anybody ever tries anything, we will see you. Fuck you up. <laughs> Fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna get cameras. Yeah. And then we decided to go grab something to eat. And Jose drove, <laughs> which this is the funny part. I drove and I didn't freaking notice. He drove and he didn't notice. No, you did notice, but you thought I did it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So I was already mad about the hood. I thought she f the button somehow. She didn't, obviously. And uh, I didn't want to say anything. I was already mad. I was like, if I say something now, we're just going to get in a fight. And yeah, so you saw the started button broken. Yeah, yeah. And you thought it was me. Mm -hmm. And he didn't say anything to me. So With her previous track record, it only made sense. Oh, my goodness. But it wasn't me. So then... I took the car coming back home and I saw that it was broken <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? My car is, what is going on? You know? And I didn't want to say anything to him because I'm like, what if he didn't notice? Like he's going to be even more pissed because he's already been pissed about the hood. I'm the type of person that I can't keep anything in. Like I have a very deep conscience. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I'm laying in bed and I'm like, I, you know, I'm trying to convince myself I'm just not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. I'll figure it out. And then I just started feeling so guilty. And I was like, no, I got to talk to him. And then I'm like, okay, I'll talk to him in the morning. So then I talked to him the next morning and I told him, I was like, hey, like my starter button's broken. I, I don't know what happened. So then we put two and two together. We came up with our conclusion that somebody tried to steal our car got pissed because it wasn't working and then decided to hit it so. and yeah <sighs> i've already taken precautions and measures and everything is fixed already mm -hmm. which you know 
hurts the lining of my pockets because yeah. as deep sucks. as people might think they are, they aren't that deep. <laughs> okay, fine, they're that deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. More than anything, we work really hard for what we have and things like that just are not fun. Mm -mm. And no, I guess knowing that somebody did it on purpose is what? Right in our, you know. Right here, yeah. Yeah, right outside our house. It's like, oh shit. It's what sucks. That's a little rant for today. That, yeah, that's our rant for today. A little story sesh. All right, guys, so that is all we have for you guys. Please, if you guys ever come across any of our personal belongings, in real life. Keep your hands to yourself or I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We hope you guys enjoyed this little rant. We love you guys and we'll talk to you guys next time. Deuces. Oh.